Hey, hello, this is week, uh, 47, day, what day is it? Day 1. We're in John chapter 12, verse 1. Then Jesus, six days before the Passover, came to Bethany, where Lazarus uh, was which had been dead, whom he raised from the dead. There they were, there they made him a supper, and Martha served. But Lazarus was one of them that sat at the table with him. Then took Mary a pound of ointment, a spikenard, very costly, and anointed the feet of Jesus, and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the odor of the ointment. Then said one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, which should betray him? Why was not this ointment sold for three hundred pence and given to the poor? Then said he, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief, and had the bag, and bare what was put therein. Then said Jesus, Let her alone. Against the day of my burying has she kept this. For the poor always ye have with you. But me ye have not always. Much people, the Jew, much people of the Jews therefore knew he was there, and they came not for Jesus' sake, but that they might see Lazarus also, whom he had raised from the dead. But the chief priests consulted that they might put Lazarus also to death, because that by reason of him many of the Jews went away and believed on Jesus. On the next day, much people that came to the feast, when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm trees, and went forth to meet him, and cried, Hosanna! Blessed is the King of Israel, that cometh in the name of the Lord. And Jesus, when he had found a young donkey, sat thereon, as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold, thy king cometh sitting on a donkey's coat. These, those things understood not his disciples at first, but when Jesus was glorified, they remembered that the, these things were written of him, and that they had done these things unto him. The people, therefore, that was with him when he called Lazarus out of the grave, raised him from the dead, fair record. For this cause the people also met with him, also met him, but they had heard that he had done this miracle. The Pharisees therefore said amongst themselves, Receive, ye now ye prevail nothing. Behold, the world is gone after him. And that finishes today's reading, and tomorrow we'll pick up on verse 20. And I will see you tomorrow.